Now we go to our commitment 2022 coverage and a live look outside at the state capitol all lit up tonight. We are now less than a week away from the June primary and tonight the candidates for U.S. Congressional District 3 gathered for a debate hosted by us, KCRA 3. KCRA 3's Orko Mana joins us now to check the facts. Well, all three candidates talked about a wide range of issues, but before we get into those, we want to start with both Assemblymember Kylie and Sheriff Jones's answers when asked if they believe Joe Biden was legitimately elected president in 2020. Depends what you mean by legitimate. The Electoral College voted, and that's how we determine the powers of the presidency in our system. I, I don't know. It depends who you watch, which newscast you watch. But I know there's a lot of people that are confused enough and don't know the answer to that question. Coming more than a year and a half after President Biden was first projected as the winner of the 2020 election, claims that the election was fraudulent have been repeatedly disproven through various recounts and audits and more than a dozen public opinion surveys, including those conducted by Quinnipiac University and The Washington Post found that a majority of Americans overall believe the results of the 2020 election were legitimate. Now to the issues top of mind for many Californians. One is the drought. Governor Newsom has called on everyone to try to conserve more water as California enters another year of extremely dry conditions and limited rainfall. Assemblymember Kylie had this to say. When you are told to take a shorter shower as water flows abundantly into the ocean, your government is broken. We have more than enough water that comes to us by the grace of God to supply our needs for indoor use, industry and agriculture. We just haven't planned in the appropriate way. Now, regulators say there actually is not enough water to protect the Sacramento San Joaquin River Delta and without enough water flows, salt water can move into the system and threaten water quality. The Delta system supplies water to about two thirds of the state, and it's a lifeline for the agricultural industry as well as a range of plants and animals. The candidates also discussed the issue of mass shootings and guns, which once again is a hot topic in light of the school shooting in Texas, Sacramento County Sheriff. Scott Jones has called himself the law and order candidate, and this is what he had to say about what causes mass shootings. But th to blame a gun is much like blaming a car when a drunk driver kills somebody. It's easy to treat the symptoms. It's not as easy to treat the problems, and the problems are uh, disassociated youth, broken family structures, mental illness, violent video games, and the effect that they have on the impressionable. But it's important to point out that research has shown that more gun ownership corresponds with more gun murders. And according to a 2018 study by the Small Arms Survey, civilians in the United States own an estimated 393 million firearms. That's nearly 46% of the estimated 857 million civilian firearms in the world. But the U.S. has just 4% of the world's population. Also a big issue for many Californians is the rise costs at the gas pump, the average price in the state is now over $6 a gallon. Democratic candidate Kermit Jones, who is a local doctor, actually suggested a plan that many Democrats do not agree with. We need to actually consider pausing the gas tax. You know, that's 75 to 80 cents at the state and federal level. Various Democrats and Republicans have advocated for that. Um, that's money that needs to be in people's pockets and not in the coffers of the federal government. Again, this was a plan put forth by California Republicans, but the proposal to implement it failed in April after a vote in the assembly pretty much down party lines. Now, there was much more discussed during tonight's debate, including COVID-19, abortion rights and health care. We have a full recap on our website, KCRA.com. Back to you. Orko, thank you so much for checking the facts. Yeah, great run through, Orko.